Hi, I'm Stephen Han from Archery Supplies. This is the R2 Takedown Longbow. This is the more expensive of the takedown longbows. It's 60 inches um, and they basically push together like so. Um, it's very, it's a very tight fit. Um, <laughs> this is me pulling it apart. You can see it's a, uh, you can get it apart. It's, it's a pressure fit. Very high craftsmanship, fiberglass in the inside. It's it's high quality craftsmanship here. Um, now the difference between this and the R1 takedown longbow, um, this has got your clear glass on the outside. There, hundred dollars difference in price. Um, I think the other the R2 doesn't have this on the back. Sorry, the R1 doesn't have this on the back. Um, the wood here is the same. There's a leather grip here on the R2 and a rubberized grip on the R1. So this is all the same. Just run down. There. Limb tips look nice. There. Um, yes, three laminations in the wood. Let's just try and zoom in there. You can see the, the gluing looks really, really good. Like, I think it's a really nice bow. Now, the R1 is going to retail in Australia for about 400. This is going to be 500. And you're going to say, well, it's $100 more for the clear glass. Yes. But you got the leather grip, the clear glass, which looks awesome. And at its price point, there's nothing on the market which touches this. And like I said in the R1 video, comparing this bow to others made, I found two other manufacturers which make a takedown longbow. Um, and they were about 1200 American dollars, which equates to about 1700 Australian dollars. Where if you convert this to American dollars, you're probably in the around the 350s, 360s. Like it's. I mean, like you can spend the 300 and you can spend your $1,200. That's cool. But like, if you're just looking for cool, cool bang for buck and you don't really want to fork out the $1,200, $1,700 on a longbow, um, like it's good if you want to fork out $1,700 on a longbow, that's that's fine because that means you're really into it and you really want that bow and you're prepared to wait for it to be built. Um, but if you just want a thing that you might use once in a while to hang on the wall that's got the uniqueness that is very unique, um, there's none of these around. This generally, this fits the boat and it's so crazy cheap. Um, very nice to shoot, very smooth. It's not going to be any different to the R1 to shoot, it's just the finish. So you're paying $100 for that extra finish, the extra bit of craftsmanship. Um, that's up to you to decide whether you want that. I'm Stephen Hand from Archery Supplies. We have these in stock from 30 to 55 pounds. Um, they took nine months for these to be made um, from the suppliers and they've got to ship into Australia. And we have quite a few of them in stock now. Um, and when I say quite a few, probably got five, six of each size uh, in stock. The R1s we have more because I figured that will be the bigger selling of the bows. I expect to sell probably five times as many of the R1s to the R2s. So that's the R2 and you'll see how it kind of goes together. Now when you string this bow, it's going to be pushing this, this, this connection together. So it's not going to like pull apart because it's pulling together with the string on it. So just bear that in mind. Anyway, thanks for watching um, and enjoy your archery.